Rider Nation, man, it has been forever since we talked tangibly about the Canadian Football League. We are talking about CFL free agency, specifically the 2021 season and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders signings. I am smiling from ear to ear because again, we have not talked to you guys in a very, very long time. So let's get in to some of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders free agent signings. I think that the biggest thing that Rider Nation needs to do right now is remember that free agency and the signings that have taken place started back last year, right? With Jeremy O'Day needing to re-sign some of the core group of guys in this locker room. So when you're talking about the free agency period, Rider Nations, don't forget, you guys have guys back on the roster like Shaq Evans, Cody Fajardo, Swerve. On the defensive side, Ed Ganey's back. Nick Marshall, that boundary corner. And also pass rushers like A.C. Leonard. Those are all already in-house. So when you look at the roster and the way it plays out after this free agency period, I mean, guys, it doesn't get much better than dealing with the needed gaps on your roster when it comes to free agency. And there wasn't a bigger gap than the ones in the middle in the trenches. And quite honestly, I think that Jeremy O'Day needs to be given a lot of credit for reaching back, bringing Micah Johnson back into the organization. But more importantly, talented Canadian offensive line, Evan Johnson, a guy who can play a number of positions. So those were two really big signings. But I also like the fact that Jeremy O'Day and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders went and dealt with the depth issues bringing in the Herdman Reed brothers, both linebackers, both Canadian, both are gonna contribute right away on special teams and add to the playing depth here in Ryderville. They also brought defensive backs, Godfrey Onyeka and, jo- and Lorenzo Jerome, who both have some experience playing in the Canadian Football League and will again add to that depth. But don't forget, this Ryder defense was now missing a man in the middle because of Solomon El Mimian's retirement. And what they did is they went and got vet Larry Dean, who just played for the Edmonton Eskimos in 2019. But I'll tell you what, guys, that guy is a fantastic football player. And when you look at what you lost in Solomon El Mimian and what you gained in Larry Dean, they balance out. Larry Dean is a fantastic football player, and I know Jason Shivers is probably really excited to have him manning the middle of the defense. So let's keep building on this momentum. We're finally talking about CFL football. We're finally talking about what matters in between the white lines, and we're finally doing it with you, Ryder Nation. Welcome back. I hope to see everybody on the field in 2021. Let's roll.